I, I try to strive for that happy, positive personality. Um, that's, I find it more enjoyable to be around people that have that kind of personality, so that's what I try and aim for. And it became difficult to have that as quarantine hit because the activities I liked to, to participate in, such as soccer and school, they, they got canceled. And it made things difficult to express that happy, positive personality I try and hold. Quarantine kept going on and I just, that happy personality kept slowly and slowly depleting and leaving and I started to notice it and I wasn't real thrilled about it and I wasn't happy with it. And I mean, even little examples such as going to the store and normally I like to go to the store and see other people's smiling faces, you know, give a smile back or two. But with the mask, it made it really difficult to see people smiling. And so as quarantine got in deeper, I noticed once again that happiness slowly leaving. So I just had the thought, say a prayer, ask Heavenly Father. So that night before I went to bed, I knelt down beside my bed and said a prayer. I asked Heavenly Father, I, I asked him for the next day to be a bit better than the day I had just experienced. And went to bed next morning, it was miraculous. The, the new feeling I felt was indescribable. It, was, it wasn't even just back to normal, it was better than normal. And I was so very thankful for that. And it showed me that no matter how insignificant I may feel to God's eternal plan, He still loves and cares about me and is willing to answer my prayers. And it, so it really stuck out to me. It shows me that I'm not aware of how He's going to answer the prayer, how he's going to carry it out, but it, that it will eventually be answered and in ways, while yes, I might not be ready for, ways I'm grateful for, so.